So I have a simple pendulum here, and as it's swinging backwards and forwards, we get this continual transfer of energy from the gravitational potential store when it's at the very highest point to the kinetic energy store when it's at the very lowest point. And what we're hap what's actually happening, if I can just maybe show with some of these containers here, is that as time goes on, we transfer from one store to the other and back again. Now, the problem is that not all of the energy goes where we want it to. And actually over time, we can see that this starts to swing less and less. So this is a bit like transferring from one store to the other, but each time we go back and forwards, we lose a little bit of energy. Now, the important point here is that the energy has not disappeared. It's, uh, and this is something which is really important, that energy cannot be created or destroyed. Now, in the case of this pendulum, as we kind of lose a little bit of energy each time, all of that energy which is wasted is transferred to the thermal store of the surroundings. Now that's a little bit hard to believe. I mean, just as this pendulum is going backwards and forwards, it doesn't feel like this room is getting any hotter. But maybe there's another way that I could demonstrate this. Okay, so now I've just got a piece of paper clamp there, and I've got a couple of massive ball bearings. Now, we often say that this you know, energy which is wasted from the system is dissipated to the surroundings, but do they really heat up? Well, what I'm going to look at maybe in this case is a transfer from the kinetic energy that these two things originally had to the thermal store of both the balls and something else. So if I just smack them together, and I can do that several times, uh, what we're actually doing is making holes in the paper. Now the thing is, there's no little kind of circles of paper which are dropped out the bottom. It's not like a hole punch. In actual fact, I can actually smell what's happened. Because as these two balls come together, because they're transferring their kinetic energy to thermal energy, they're actually heating up the piece of paper and actually burns it. And if you look closely, you can see that around each of these holes, there's a little singe mark. So um, not only is, has the energy been transferred to the thermal store of the paper, which has caused it to burn, but it's also been transferred to the thermal store of these balls. So the important thing to take away is that, first of all, energy cannot be created or destroyed just transferred from one uh, store to another. And also, a lot of the time, this wasted energy, which is dissipated to the surroundings, ends up in the thermal store of the surroundings, and it increases their temperature just by a very, very small amount.